Hey everybody, we're back. It's really getting chilly outside and when the temperatures are falling, it seemed like a great time to show you one of our favorite cold weather drinks, hot buttered rum. From Durham, North Carolina, you're watching Cocktails Under Quarantine. My name is Suzanne and we are thrilled to be partnering again with the University of North Carolina General Alumni Association to produce this series of holiday punches. That's why I've got my UNC Michael Jordan basketball jersey on. So as always, we love it when you like and subscribe, so mash that button and we're gonna get started with the recipe. So hot buttered rum, as the name implies, is rum and butter and sugar and spices. And so one of the easy ways of scaling this recipe up to feed a crowd is by making a batter. So this is a batter that will feed 12 people and you just make it and you have it in your fridge and then you just take a couple dollops out and mix it with rum and hot water and you're ready to go. And this recipe is from the Smuggler's Cove book. And so without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna turn on my hot plate and I, I have made a few um, adjustments to the, this recipe so I'll, I'll talk you guys through it. So I'm going to take a stick of unsalted butter and I'm going to put it in my pan. So the Smuggler's Cove recipe does call for salted butter but I bake a lot and bakers never use salted butter because if you use unsalted butter it allows you to control your salt levels and so I'm gonna use unsalted butter, but I'm gonna add salt in later because I think the salt does always bring out flavors. So I'm just melting this over kind of like medium heat. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a cup of packed brown sugar. So like when you mix it or when you put it in, you know, make sure you take your thumb and kind of pat it down so it's nice and packed. So, all right. So we're just gonna add that in there and then we're gonna start stirring it up with our butter. So it's already starting to melt. Okay, so we've got that in there. And then the next thing we're gonna add is molasses. And I really like this hot buttered rum recipe because I just think it has so much more flavor and body than most hot buttered rum recipes. And I think that the molasses and the salt are part of the reason why this is so thick and luscious and delicious. So add this in here. It is really thick. So I'll give it a little bit of a, a little bit of help. Okay. So set that over there and give this a little bit of a stir. And then the other thing, the next thing we're going to add is our vanilla extract. Okay. And vanilla extract is going to add even more flavor. So we're going to add a quarter teaspoon. All right, this is all starting to, to melt really nicely. So we're just going to get this stirring. And then the last thing we're going to add are the spices. And I actually took the liberty of pre-mixing the salt and the spices off camera. And so the salt and spice mixture is a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then um, the Smuggler's Cove recipe does call for ground anise, anise seed. And I, that's not something I ever carry in my kitchen, so I left it out, but if you wanna add it, that's fine. Um, it's a quarter teaspoon each. Let's turn this heat down a bit. So it's salt, a quarter teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon allspice, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and then black pepper. And I think that that combination of five spices really gives a lot of complexity and interest and spiciness to this recipe. So we're just gonna get, lower the heat on this a little bit. It's getting, uh, show you guys in just a second it's getting really nice and thick okay. 
I add this in here and you just want to stir it. Ooh, I think I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay. And we're just going to stir it. I'm going to tilt this up so you, hopefully you can see that a little bit. Um, just going to get it all combined. And then after it is all nice and combined, we're going to pour it in a container. And then at that point, you can use it immediately or you can put it in the fridge and keep it probably for a couple weeks. It never lasts that long in my house, but um, but yeah, then it's, it's basically all ready to go. So if you see here, it's like nice and it's nice and thick. So really, really easy. Comes together nice and quick. So I'm just gonna pour it into this Tupperware and then we'll come back and show you how you make the actual hot butter broom. Hey guys, we're back. We have our hot butter rum batter. Look at this guys, it is luscious and thick. I'm gonna show you how to make it into hot butter rum. It's gonna be super easy and super delicious. Okay, so we've got a small, this is like a Irish coffee mug. It is heat resistant and I got it from Ikea and it's it's really cute I like it it's kind of notice it is smaller than the typical American coffee mug um, so anyway okay so you can take about three bar spoons worth of your hot buttered rum batter okay so just add that in there and then we are gonna add our rum because it's it's not hot buttered rum without rum. So this is Appleton Estate. This is a funky Jamaican rum. It is the 12 year rare, rare cask. Appleton Estate 12 year rare. And we're gonna take an ounce and a half here and we're just gonna add it to our hot buttered rum batter. And if normally I would rinse this mug with hot water just to kind of get it warmed up. So you just can add some hot water, let it sit in there and then dump it out. But you know, that's always a good thing to do. Uh, so now I'm just gonna add my hot water. So just kind of top it on up. And the Smuggler's Cove people say to garnish this with a cinnamon stick, but I don't know, I think that's a bit much. So now we're just gonna take our, our bar spoon, and just give it a good stir. You just wanna make sure that everything is nicely incorporated. So you can see this is like, it's so easy. Basically you make your hot buttered rum, you keep it in the fridge and then whenever you want hot buttered rum, you know, cause on a chilly night you just get you know, put some water on the kettle, add a couple bar spoons to your mug and and uh, add some rum. And so there you have it, friends, hot butter rum. It is super, super delicious. Mmm, it smells so good. The Jamaican rum adds this beautiful, um, ho they call it hogo, the, the um, funkiness that Jamaican rum is known for and it holds up really really well to all the spices and butter and richness oh my gosh smoke so good uh, it's so 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 good guys i don't i try not to be chauvinistic here but this this is the best like the smugglers cove people they nailed it this is the best hot butter rum it's so good it's so it's got so much body it's got so much flavor it's got so much character it's just so thick and silk silky and rich and spicy and delicious i just i freaking love it y'all please make this um mm, so so good make you a batch of the batter keep it in the fridge when people come over you can just plop 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 into little heat proof mugs and then you add your rum your hot water you stir it up you're ready to go you can sit outside when it's chilly you have a fire going it's just perfect make this enjoy it 
And that's it for us this week. As always, like and subscribe. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and stay safe and drink responsibly. Guys, look at this. Look at this body. It's like, it's opaque. Like, I feel like a lot of hot buttered rums, they're kind of thin and weak. Like, this is like rich. It's got this body and silkiness and intensity. It's, um, I just love it. Um, I think that the salt and the molasses just take it to a, another level. So I don't know y'all, I, I don't usually brag on recipes, but I really do think that this is, this is the best hot buttered rum. If you're gonna make hot buttered rum, make this recipe. Definitely.